Hello everyone and welcome back to Movement Pivoting and Persistence. In our previous lesson we talked about how we could generate malicious HTML application or .hta files to use in our phishing campaign with a combination of MSF Venom and the Covenant C2 platform. In this lesson we're going to talk about how we can achieve the same goal using Metasploit using the Windows miscellaneous HTA underscore server exploit within Metasploit. So here on the screen, you can see that we've got that started up and opened already. And we have a few key things here. First and foremost, if your target isn't already PowerShell X64, go ahead and change that now. Additionally, we want to set our payload to an X64 payload since we've modified our target. We want to make sure our L host is our, uh, the IP address of our Kali machine. We want to make sure our L port is something that's identifiable as trustworthy through the firewall, whether it be 80, 443, 25, etc. Finally, I recommend changing our URI path to something that's going to be trustworthy as well. This will generate a default URI path, and if somebody looks at that, they might have some questions. But if they see something here that says covidbenefits.hta, it may make more sense to them. So once we have all those settings set, let's go ahead and hit exploit J, just to run it in the background. And we'll get a couple of links here. The one we want is this one here so that we can use it inside of our phishing email that we're going to send. So let's go back to our Windows 10 VM that we're using to send our emails from Eric Caroli. And we're just going to go ahead and edit this email as new. We don't need to change anything except for the link. So uh, again, our link needs to go to our new link that we're using to host our Metasploit payload. Mine is already here, but if you want, you can go ahead and copy and paste yours. Uh, we see that it's our IP address on the serve port, which is 8080, and then covidbenefits.hta. We'll go ahead and hit OK, and then we're going to send that email out. And then from here, we're going to go back to Samantha's account over on Workstation 01. We can refresh our inbox. You'll see that we have a new email here. Uh, the same email we've seen before with just a new link. If we go ahead and click this, we can save that file, and then we can open it up. We see that it's executable, but again, we trust Aaron Caroli because the email has said this is going to be expected. Just hit OK, and then we hit Run, and now nothing, right? This is exactly what we expect. But if we go over here to Cali, we can see that we have a new Meterpreter session on Session 2. So if we do Sessions I, we'll see that we have Meterpreter on X64 as in the MayorSec domain as Samantha Chisholm. So if we Sessions I2, and we run Get UID, you can see that we are, in fact, uh, accessing that machine. And then if we do sysinfo, we can see that we're on workstation 01. So again, in this lesson, we just showed you a different way to execute a .hta malicious payload using our other C2 platform, Metasploit. And then in future lessons, we'll talk about how we can leverage our access with both Metasploit and Covenant uh, to gain further understanding and enumeration of that first host machine as well as the domain. So until then, take care. Thank you for joining me.